you know, all week, I got sick and tired of answering questions of, you guys haven't played so well the last couple of times. In fact, five in a row, five in a row. You get a chance to end that. When you wake up tomorrow morning, it's over. Road game, division opponent, the Washington Redskins. There will be some adversity. How are we gonna respond? It's just us in this room. Play with great energy. You're on the brink of starting our season right here, tomorrow. Come out of that dressing room, come out of that tunnel with a little swagger tomorrow. Just being able to put on that helmet and be able to rock those wings in my first game, you know, it definitely meant a lot to me. Just glad we was able to go out and, you know, handle the job and get it all done. This is the last time I feel that takes the snap again. He looks, steps up, still looking. He dashes to his left. He dashes to his right. Now he fires downfield. Caught. Aguilar, free at the 10. Touchdown, Eagles. Listen, this is Carson with pulling something out of the head. With the beat of the drums rushing through my skin. Oh, as he hit, it was Timmy Jernigan who grabbed him and put him down. Doesn't straight back. He's hit. Football is loose. The Eagles have it. He's hit. The football comes loose. It's picked up by Cox. Touchdown, Eagles! Whoa! You know, over the course of training camp, Coach Peterson, he, he drilled it in our heads, man. You know, it's a must that we beat Washington. There's a lot of uh, excitement. Uh, we're opening up the season on the road. We're in the division. We didn't play well against in, in the division last year. So there's no better way to find out who you are as a team than to start with all of that kind of stacked up against you. But it was very, very exciting. I think guys were focused, ready to kick the season off. Uh, and obviously ended up with a big win. The happiness you've seen in everybody's faces after the game, everybody just excited. It, it gives you that reminder that, you know, this is how things are supposed to be. This is what we're trying to get to. I wish that every Sunday could feel exactly like that. It has been a very interesting offseason, more interesting than we thought. According to Ian Rappaport and also Josina Anderson and Adam Schefter, Alshon Jeffrey to the Eagles on a one-year deal. That's a stunner. Really the big thing that everybody wants to know is how can Alshon Jeffrey impact Carson Wentz and the rest of the Eagles offense in 2017? It's a great day. I just want to say thank you to the Eagles organization, Mr. Lurie, Howie, Coach Peterson. I'm glad to be a part of such a great organization, the culture, so I can't wait to get started. I'm excited. I think I made a great decision. I mean, it's been fun. The team's a family the city of Philadelphia. It's been wonderful to me and my family. Everything's been great. Football player, you like to go to the other team place and uh, keep the crowd quiet. Wentz takes the snap, he lets it go. He's got Jeffrey, and Jeffrey has a first down. Nice catch by Alshon Jeffrey. He looks, fires, and it is caught. It is a touchdown. Listen at the noise at Arrowhead Stadium. Or lack thereof. We knew we were going to be in that fight. You know, uh, just from the, the whole game, how it kind of went. You know, momentum kept swinging back and forth, you know, from us to them. You know, we definitely kind of got it in our heads that, okay, we're, we're in a real fight now, you know, and it's not going to be done until, you know, it's done. Hunt finally is broken loose, and he has a touchdown from Kansas City. Smith under pressure. They've got him in second. Boy, the big boys want to eat, and Brandon Graham is just relentless, along with Timmy Jernigan. Here come the Chiefs. Wentz tries to dump it off, and it's intercepted. intercepted. And Kelsey gets a nice crease in this defense, and then he just hurdles the safety on his way into the end zone. I think if we play them again sometime in the future, different outcome. 
something that we can build and we can learn from. We can't win them all, but it's definitely that's one we let get away. Although it was, a, it was a loss, you know, on the road, I don't think it changed or wavered our confidence in ourselves as a team. We just made a few mistakes that we felt like were self-inflicted that we could change. You know, it kind of starts with yourself, you know what I mean? So that's the biggest thing, getting back, you know, on Monday, watching the film, figuring out what things you could have did better, and then when Tuesday hit, you better yourself. You play playoff caliber teams, you can't make the mistakes we make and expect to win. It just doesn't happen in this league. Eliminate the mistakes. All three phases. And you come out on top of these games. And it's a little different feeling in here, in the dressing room. We're gonna make the corrections. We're gonna get better. We've got the Giants coming into our house next Sunday for a football game. And you know what that game is all about. Everything for me <laughs> in this period of time is scheduled and uh, very, very ritualistic. And so I do the same thing every Monday at the same time, same thing on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. You know, every pretty much every minute of my day is, is scheduled out because you know you, you have to make time for your preparation, your your practice, your recovery, uh, your family time, and, and any other things you may have on outside of football. Unfortunately, there's only 24 hours in a day. And at the end of the day, this is a production business, and all that matters is what you do on Sundays. The calendar says September 24th, but it feels like August. Pre-season hot. Regardless, this is a big, big game. The Eagles trying to bounce back from an almost in Kansas City. The Giants trying to avoid a disastrous 0-3 start. Good afternoon, everyone. Merrill Reese and Mike Quick at Lincoln Financial Field for the home opener. I think everyone was excited to be at home, see the crowd uh, playing against the Giants. I mean, it's something that we all anticipate. Here's a toss, and a play made in the secondary. Darkwell brought down by Jenkins. What a stop by Malcolm Jenkins. You open up the season with two games on the road, you split them, and then you get to come back home. Uh, your first game in the link, it's against the divisional rival, the Giants. An opportunity to go 2-0 in the division, and it felt good. Clintz comes back. He goes to Blunt. Blunt moves the pile. Bumper. And he is in. Touchdown, LeGarrette Blunt. Pass is caught for the touchdown. Zuckers. You know, uh, as a team, I mean, we, we respect them as men. We respect them as NFL ball players, you know. So we know that they're going to come out and give it their best shot. You know, it was one of those things we knew we're, we were going to get their best shot. They were. You know, 0-2 at the time, trying not to go 0-3, and, and we're in a little bit of desperation, but we're desperate too. We're trying to win this division, we're trying to go places, so no bigger stage than home opener, and to go down and win in the fashion that we did was obviously one to remember. Can the Eagles stop them one more time? Manning goes to dark one, they stop them! They stop them! Oh. It was Billy Curry who hit them with force. Defense did a hell of a job stopping them. I mean, they made a few plays here and there. We made enough plays just to win the game, and I, we got a hell of a kick. Just to win it and become an instant hero in Philadelphia. Jake Elliott, hold your breath. Ball is spotted. The kick is away, and the kick is... It's gone! <laughs> and the Eagles win! They win 61 yards! The longest kick in Eagles history. First of all, congratulations. Great team effort right there. Great team effort. It took everybody to finish that football game. That's what it's going to take every single week. Every single week. Because everybody in the National Football League is talented. Every team is good. You throw the records away. You throw them away. You're facing a team this weekend, 0-3. Throw it away. It's a good football team. And here's the challenge you got. We have to do it again. You have to prepare again this week for another challenge on Sunday. And it's a West Coast trip. Every single week is an opportunity to get better. And we need to get better as a football team. Was it perfect on Sunday? No. But guess what? We get a chance to learn from it today, correct it, and then move on and get ready for the Chargers.